couple of days ago i did a video on aios llm operating system on my channel and that um, received quite a good feedback one of the most common asks from the people was to create an installation video around it so in this video i am going to show you how you can get this aios llm agent operating system installed on your local system you would need at least one gpu of 16 gb vram for this and make sure that you have at least 32 gb of ram that is the spec of my own system before i show you the local installation of this llm operating system first let me just reiterate what i discussed in the other video in more com um, summarized form if you want more detail i would highly suggest watch my other video i will drop the link to it in videos description along with the github repo of this really cool project now this research or project of llm agent operating system is based on a thorough research and that is what i really like about this that this is not some hodgepodge makeshift project but rather a real cool project backed by a good research i have also been in touch with the creator of this project and we have been emailing back and forth because there were few issues with the installation but they have um, gracefully and very generously fixed those bugs over the last uh, few hours and we were going back and forth so now it is all bug free and i was able to install it so that is why i am making this video now what is aios llm agent operating system it is an operating system and the goal of this is to provide module isolation and aggregations of llm and operating system functionality now the reason why it works and the reason why it is so cool is that this is an agent operating system which embeds llms into os as a brain of os and it enables an os with soul os with soul means that this brings new level of intelligence into the operating system which in my opinion is a step forward towards artificial general intelligence now this ai os is designed to optimize resource allocation it also facilitates context switch across agents and it enables concurrent execution of agents it also provides tooling service for agents maintain access control for agents and there are a lot of other rich set of toolkits which you can integrate with the help of this in true sense the sky is the limit so to address the potential conflicts arising between tasks associated with llms and those unrelated to llm they have proposed this design of an llm specific kernel this kernel segregates the os like duties particularly those related to the oversight of llm agents their corresponding resources and the development toolkits through this segregation the llm kernel aims to enhance the management and coordination of llm related activities now within this proposed llm kernel of this research they have also devised a suite of modules each dedicated to addressing the distinct functions pertinent to llm operations an overview of these modules and their respective functionalities is also present in the detail of this paper and i would highly suggest that you read it now there are a lot of good things in this os like agent scheduler which prioritizes and schedules agent requests to optimize llm utilization let me also show you the architectural diagram which makes it easier so here you can see that they have agent schedule scheduler which i just mentioned they also have context manager which supports snapshot and restores the intermediate generation status in llm and context window management of llm then we have memory manager which provides short term memory for each agent's interaction logs then we have storage manager through which it persists agent interaction logs to long term storage for future retrieval then there is a tool manager which manages agent calling of an external api tool like search scientific computing etc and then they have access manager which enforces privacy and access control policies between the agents the whole idea behind this os this llm os is similar to what we have in the um, general purpose operating systems if you have read andrew s tenenbaum's uh, landmark book about operating system you would know about these os layers same concept applies here we have 
application layer we have kernel layer and we have hardware layer as you can see here at the bottom now at the application layer which is at the very top agent applications such as travel agent or math agent are developed and deployed in this layer ai os provides the ai os sdk with a higher abstraction of system calls that simplifies the development process for agent developers this sdk allows for development of agent applications by offering a rich toolkit then we have kernel layer this layer is divided into two primary components the os kernel and the llm kernel each serving the unique requirement of non llm and llm specific operations this distinction allows the llm kernel to focus on llm specific tasks such as context management agent scheduling and all those things which i just mentioned earlier and those are the modules which you need to keep in mind like context manager memory manager storage manager tool manager and lot of other and then at the bottom we have hardware layer the hardware layer comprises of physical components of the system including the cpu gpu memory disk and peripheral devices but it is very important to keep in mind that llm kernels system calls cannot directly interact with hardware and instead these calls interface with the os's own system calls which in turn manages the hardware resources so this basically ensures a layer of abstraction and security which is very important because this allows the llm kernel to leverage hardware capabilities without requiring direct hardware management now enough theory let me take you to my local system and then we will get this thing installed so this is my local ubuntu system as i mentioned i am running one gpu and i am running uh, with 32 gb of ram and ubuntu is 22.04 let me clear my screen now the first step we need to do is to git clone the repo or so git clone let's go back to that repo and grab the url of the repo so scroll up click on the screen button and click on this copy sign let's go back to our local system and right click paste enter and this is cloning this aios to local system let's cd to it let me show you the contents here these are the contents so next step we need to do we need to install all the prerequisites and the command of doing it is fairly simple all you need to do is to pip install dash r requirement dot txt press enter most of the stuff is already installed on my system so which is good now that is done let me quickly clear the screen first now next thing you need to do you would need hugging face token in order to get the hugging face token you would need to go to hugging face website and if you don't have an account there i would highly suggest that you create the account log in there then on the top right click here on settings then access tokens and just create a read token here i already created this read token just click on new token give it any name like i did and then generate token and it will generate the token for you i already have it so copy it by clicking here and then go back to your local system and then set the environment variable which is a hugging face hub token and that is going to set it second thing we need to set the hugging face home this could be any directory where you store hugging face model so we'll be downloading a model from hugging face so normally the default is this dot cache which is a hidden directory i already have it so i am going to use this now that is done now let's install and run our AIOS agent operating system. The command of doing it is this Python 3 main.py, which is calling the main function, and then we are using the gamma 2 billion instruction twin model. And I have my one GPU on zero device, it is specifying 24 gig, so which is fine. Just you just need to replace it, whatever you have the VRAM. If you have 16 GB, just put 16 GB here and then press enter. This is going to initialize, download the checkpoints of the model, and then it is going to run it. And you can see that it is initializing all the agents in this OS now. So recommender agent, math agent, narrative agent, 
So for every task, we have a different agent. And of course, you can create your, your own agents and then put it in this operating system easily. There you go. So all the agents have produced the results and interacted with each other. Let me scroll up to show what happened there. I'll go at the very top. So you see, so first it downloaded the model, the gamma one, then it initialized all the agents. And the first agent is this recommender agent. And we are asking it, you are an expert who is good at recommending restaurants or hotels for users. Given a request, you need to first determine the right recommendation direction, then provide recommendation list, and then given the task. So it is sort of, um, you know, a chain of thought or tree of thought where it is going step by step give a general recommendation for user now it is telling us that um, so because we have asked it to be new york specific and you can change it of course as you like in the code you have the github repo so it is telling us about that for spring break new york city offer this and this and this then some of the restaurant recommendation so some of the location like times square soho greenwich village and then few of the restaurants there and there uh, detail that this is for example rainbow room is upscale restaurant and um, the beatrice is a cozy and intimate restaurant and then all that stuff now once that's done uh, it is just telling us that okay these are the restaurants in each location second agent is math agent and we are telling it that you're an expert who is good at solving math problem given a mathematical problem you need to do this 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 and then we are uh, telling it that the required task is solve the problem that Albert is wondering how much pizza he can eat in one day. He buys two large pizzas and two small pizzas. A large pizza has 16 slices and small pizza has 8 slices. So we are just giving it a problem. And then step 0, it is just taking it, identify and outline the sub problem. Now the sub problems are how many slices are in large pizza. How many slices are in small pizza this so it is just dividing and conquering the problem going step by step you can see that large pizza 16 small 8 and then from there it is going step by step just traversing that chain and then there you go it is saying that total slices are these much therefore Albert will eat this and that it is applying the mathematical theorem on this now there are uh, then we have this role play one where we are just giving it this issue uh, sorry integrate the solution to these sub problems and then blah 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 it goes in on and on for the role play and then story writing is happening how cool is that introduction rising action so this is the last one is a narrative one narrative agent i mean but you can see that every agent is performing its own we can integrate them they are running on this operating system um, and you can make this interactive so real good project i should say um i mean would have i mean this is still evolving and i'm more than sure that this is going to be a big thing very very soon so give it a try get it installed play around with it let me know what do you think you want you can change it in their github repo they have the code and stuff and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot and i'll be surely making more videos around this uh, llm os thanks for watching